Guys, welcome to the channel. We are back today with a gnarly grill guard. <laughs> yeah, gnarly grill guard because it rhymes. It's pretty cool. We're back today with a groovy grill guard. <laughs> Guys, how we doing? Welcome to the channel. Got a new product for you today, part of the GWT Discount Club. Check it out if you haven't done so already. 511 Designs, another small business in Michigan making these sweet custom grill guards. These aren't just for John Deere, they're for Kubota as well. In fact, Kubota's are where he started at. All sorts of really sweet grill guards. These are laser cut, US steel, made in America. More on it coming up. Hey, and as always, I am proud to be sponsored by Bora Wheel Spacers. Check them out right down there. If you're looking for a stability solution for your tractor, you know, feeling tippy side to side, Bora Wheel Spacers, they're gonna help you out. These tractors are naturally a little top heavy, a little awkward. If you have any kind of hills to navigate, you really need to be able to find a solution to lower your center of gravity or push it out further. That's where Bora can help. Guys, and I'm telling you what, I don't know if you like the video unless I get a thumbs up from you. So please do that if you do enjoy it. I'd also love to have you subscribe if you wanna see more cool tractor videos and make sure you head on over to goodworkstractors.com. So you know me, you know I love innovative products, innovative companies. They have to meet that trifecta, you know, of a reasonable price point, good quality, and good product features as well. So what you see here, or maybe over there, or there, or there, or out there, or anywhere on your own tractor, is vulnerability. So this is a big problem. I see it happen all the time. You see all this space in here? You can see on some of these other tractors that have the loaders and the buckets on it, maybe it's a grapple or something else on the front of your machine, there's just nothing to really protect sticks, branches from going right through this cheap, you know, little guard that's down here for the radiator and the battery and everything else and then causing significant damage underneath the hood. And while John Deere has a couple series of tractors that they do offer a version of a more deluxe grill guard, it's few and far between. Kubota doesn't offer it. I don't know any other manufacturer that offers anything either. Again, it kind of boggles my mind how these big, huge corporations that have thousands of people working for them, like nobody can come up with an idea to kind of upsell their product and make it better, more protected, maybe look a little cooler as well. You know, so that is where the innovation of Small Business USA comes into play with these grill guards that are gonna fit into that void there, provide additional protection for your equipment, and they look pretty cool too. So again, Justin with 511 is fairly local. You know, he's only about an hour away from me, and thankfully he was actually able to bring everything over last week. We had a chance, he just had his whole truck bed full of grill guards for a whole bunch of different Kubota models. They have a lot of different variations there, and then um, he's getting started on filling out his lineup of the John Deere models as well. So he started with the 1025, and the 2025, I think he had a friend who had a 2025, and if you don't know, the, the new design there has a, um, a, a cutout because because it's gonna have a little toolbox that can be up front. So there's gonna be some different variations for the, um, the John Deere models. And then who knows, he may branch out once he gets that outfitted uh, into other manufacturers. But the only way he's really gonna know if there's a market for other models or manufacturers out there is if you shoot him an email and let him know. So again, this is part of the discount club. And if you don't know, read in the description underneath the video or go to my website, you'll see all the participating vendors there. But it's a 5% discount with code GWT. You're gonna order directly from his website. I don't sell these, you order through him, I'm just, advertising these for them and gonna put them on my machine here. And so I just wanna highlight it because I love it so much, but Justin started this business, he's got a full-time job. He started this business in his garage as just, you know, like anybody does, like I did, like, you know, Steve Jobs did, like whoever. But the point being, if you have an idea and you think there's merit to it, you know, just start to work on it. You know, you don't have to put your whole life savings into it right away, but just see how it goes, get into it, and it could eventually take off. And this is just the latest example of that. So we're gonna get started pretty quick, and this is your hardware. So uh, pretty straightforward. You know, we're gonna take some tips that we learned in a recent installation video. We did uh, a video with JU Fabworks, another you know, innovative company that's just doing this in their part-time right now, but um, you guys had mentioned using some drilling oil, Drilling at a slower speed, a center transfer punch. We got a set of that from, uh, or a set of those from Harbor Freight. So, gonna put the stuff in practice and see if it makes a difference. So, this is an example for you of us learning from reading the comments section. You're not only helping us out, but you're helping other viewers out as well when you take the time to share what you know down below. Okay, so we had two choices. These are the exact same guard, just painted a different color. I thought for sure I was gonna go with the green. I was dead set on it. And at the last minute, you know, Justin had asked, 
should I leave a black just in case? I was like, well, yeah, it'd be good for the video. And then we did a dry fit here just to see how they looked. And uh, I did a complete 180. So I'm gonna go with this textured matte black finish. I think it looks really amazing on there. The green did look good. I'm not, I'm not knocking it, but I don't know. There's just something for me. I really, I really like this color. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this one installed. Hey Morgan. No. Steel on steel. This is my right hand. Ooh. I now want to show the right hand. I want to show the right hand. Oh. For the record, I'm a lefty. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Yep, got it there, 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 and there. By golly, it might have worked. Okay, so first step is done. The transfer punches seem to do the job. We have everything marked there. We double checked before we did the lower ones to make sure the upper ones were hadn't moved at all. We were, had somebody holding it, we had Morgan holding it. Um, just wanted to make sure it hadn't shifted so that when we drill all four holes, they're in the right spots. Now we are being lazy because I just feel like being lazy and we could have taken this entire grill guard off just you know four bolts down here and here. Um, I don't know I like the idea it wasn't difficult we just had somebody hold it in place and now we have a, something stable we don't have to worry about trying to clamp it down anywhere else to be able to drill. I think we're gonna be okay. All right, we're gonna do a pilot little hole first. Um, did put some oil, I don't know, I put oil on here and I put a little dab of oil on the steel as well. So let's give it a shot. Okay, so I'm on the lowest speed setting, but I'm still going full speed. Is that considered slow, or should I be going slower than that? I don't know. Now let's try to line it up, see before we get even further. <clears throat> Time to do a fit check. Yeah, we're, we're dead. Dead nuts. That'll blow. Okay, so the first thing we did is we drilled pilot holes, and honestly, I don't know if we needed to drill pilot holes or not. Um, it took us a decent amount of time to do that, so maybe that will help in the long run, but we did a dry fit again, and we found that all four holes still match. So that's a good thing. So now we're on to drilling the final holes, and then bolting it on. So I know you guys mentioned before too, drilling slow. I think though that was somewhat dependent on the size of the bit as well. Maybe if it's a small bit, you can still drill kind of fast and then the bigger you go, a little bit slower. I don't know. 
All I know is that the first hole that we drilled with the, uh, the bigger drill bit after we got the pilot done went really quick. I don't know if it saved time overall, but it's gonna go a lot faster now. So for me, the one downside, and that's only currently, that's probably not gonna be long-term, is the fact that I was actually hanging suitcase weights, five of them, 41 pounders, on my front bracket right here. This is integral to the tractor. It's not an additional bracket, but had five of them on here, even with the front end loader on, and with this grill guard, uh, they do not fit. Uh, now the 2025 version, which is the same grill guard, has a cutout in the deluxe grill guard for a little toolbox that's up here. And so that version may actually work. I'll talk to Justin about that, but I'm sure there'll be a solution or a remedy in the future for that. Alrighty guys, we are out here the next morning. Had to leave early, had a recital to get to yesterday, but we are now ready to install the guard. Should be a piece of cake. Let's get to it. Again, all this hardware is included, which is fortunately not much hardware at all. Well, this is the finished installed product right here. I think it looks pretty sweet. Again, you have a green or a black version available right now for the John Deere's. Some other color variations, orange, maybe black or gray for the Kubotas. A lot of models out there, a lot of variations. He's still filling out the lineup right now. So depending on when you're watching this, maybe he has something for your model and John Deere. Maybe he doesn't, but it will be coming soon. If you can help him out, maybe with dimensions or anything he needs as well to kind of move that along, that would probably be appreciated. And I do want to mention, because I'm excited to get these installed once he has them available for me, are ROPS lights. And so it's a little bracket that goes right around your ROPS bar. You can buy them with or without a light kit if you want. A lot of the John Deere's, and I think some of the Kubotas as well, have termination points on the back of the tractor so that you can get some bullet connectors or make your own connector and connect it into the lighting system. So when you turn your switch on, you have some additional lighting that's in a little bit higher location that's easier to see if you're using the front end loader at night or maybe even behind you as well. I do want to reiterate, you buy this directly from him, 511 Designs, link down below, link on my website to where you can navigate to his website. You use code GWT, you save 5% off of your order on the grill guards, on the lights, on anything else that he may come out with as well. If you enjoyed this video, it would mean a lot if you would give me a thumbs up right underneath the video. Also hit that subscribe button. If you're looking for something for your tractor, head on over to goodworkstractors.com, all sorts of cool stuff for your machine. Thanks again for stopping by, and until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.